Welcome back to the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. Today we'll actually be, well, doing stuff. Well, they sure are a, a happy race of people despite having uh, no sunlight. <laughs> I have no idea why I talked to him. I should really not get into the habit of wasting time. And yeah, there's uh, some sort of op op octopus shaped goop. Goop. And from this goop comes these really weird uh, jellyfish-like guys. They come in all sorts of different colors, as you see here. All you have to do to kill them is, well, just spritz them with water. But they try to go and jump into you, and if they hit you, well, you lose a little bit of life. And yeah, this is basically the same thing as before. Just shoot them in the mouth. In the face! Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. And got him. Very nice. Oh, boy, I jumped on top of him. Uh-oh, it's cutscene time. I love this little... Oh, you look a little chubby there, Mario. I like I, I like that little part of voice acting from uh, from Toadsworth. I can't really do it, but still. I think they did that in like the, uh, the little trailer for the game. But yeah, who's this spooky, mysterious Mario-shaped guy? And he's got a paintbrush. Oh no, he's stealing Princess Peach! Kill him! Look at Toadsworth, he's just, he's just standing there. What do I do, what do I do? Give me back my woman! Die, you evil impostinator! <laughs> you fake hedgehog! Uh, okay, I just sprayed you with water, you big baby. Are you okay, Peach? Okay, chase him. <laughs> I'll do whatever you say, Peach. I <laughs> uh, seem to be going a little bit faster than him. Pretty much all you have to do to get around is just spritz a little water in front of you, dive with B, and then you can just slide pretty much as far as you want to go. Well, as long as you avoid stuff. And what in the world did he just do? Mario! Okay, uh-oh. Boom! And just like that, we hop right into the very first level. Bianco Hills, Episode 1, Road to the Big Windmill. Well, how big is the windmill? I don't see a windmill. Oh, there it is. It's fairly big. I guess I wasn't deceived. I like the music in this game. It's really nice. It's, it's all tropical themed, I guess you could say. And, uh, yeah, I, I think... I, I like this game. I really do. I'm sure nobody remembers this, but uh, a while back in one of my Mario Kart videos, somebody asked me what my favorite Mario game was. And while I listed off a few games, I explicitly didn't say Sunshine, just so I could make this playthrough. And, well, people wouldn't be expecting it, I guess. Probably nobody cared. Probably nobody even remembers that, so, eh. It's just me. And yeah, now we're gonna be, oh boy, shooting one of those, uh, I guess you can call it goopy volcano kind of things, like, ow! Like before, except this time they shoot out gigantic piranha plant heads for no reason whatsoever. Decapitated piranha plant heads, I suppose you could say. And gee, this looks familiar. As you can see, some of the boss fights are fairly linear. In that, I mean, well, it's exactly the same thing. But there are different bosses. You don't have to worry about that. It's just that these goopy piranha plant guys pop up randomly throughout the game. This shan't be the last time you see them. And apparently that goop was somehow holding down the earth. Oh, that guy randomly exploded. That was kind of funny. And second shine. Shine get! <laughs> Oh boy. I'm definitely gonna get my fill of that once this playthrough is over. I might as well save. Why not? And once you complete the level, you can hop right back into Isle Dofino, where Mario seems to have a little audience watching him hop in and out of this random graffiti, but they won't go into the go into it themselves. Big babies. Episode two, down with PT Piranha. That name sounds familiar. I wonder where I've heard that before. Oh my god, it's a giant piranha plant man! 
And he likes to dance. He likes to boogie down. Uh. Well, you know, this game, I really like this game. I mean, like I said before, a lot of people will say, like, oh, Super Mario Sunshine, that game sucked. But, uh, I mean, it was kind of out of the norm for Mario to have, like, this uh, water pack thing on his back. But I, I really like this game, you know, it's, it, it was fun, and it was, uh, it was, you know, the amount of time it took to, to finish the game was, um, you know, it was decent, you know, it wasn't long, but it wasn't short either. And, um, I like the color in this game, the color scheme, you know, it's all very bright and colorful, aside from the goop, which is always a sharp contrast to whatever color scheme the, uh, the world that you're in may have. And there seems to be goop coming out of the walls there. I don't want to know where that came from. The sewer might be backed up. Huh. And yeah, there's sometimes there's like little little piranha plant, little goopy piranha plant guys, and you just shoot them and like they'll fill up with water and explode with water. And water will go everywhere. What did you think was gonna go everywhere? Not water. And there's another Shadow Mario marking. If you shoot those red markings, a uh, blue coin will come out. And the blue coins in this game, you basically have to get... Every set of ten blue coins you get, you can trade them in for one shine. But I will not be doing that because the blue coins just take so long to get to. Uh, man, I hated doing the blue coins. I think there's 240 of them in the game, which is boils down into 24 shines. Do uh oh. What was that? Oh well, it's probably nothing. Oh god. Hurry up. Get some plaster. Get some plaster. Get some plaster. Oh god no. <laughs> uh, I thought that little bit was funny. Boom. And then after that, boss fight begin. As you can see, once you start the battle with Petey Piranha, a little bit of goop is all around him, and that will spawn those weird jellyfish guys. What you have to do with Petey Piranha, like the other piranha plants, is, well, shoot him in the mouth. When you shoot him in the mouth, his belly will fill up with water. And you don't want him to uh, hold his mouth open for a while, because then he's going to throw up. Gross. And then you have to stomp his big old belly button. Get back in the game! We can do this! Come on, open your mouth, you big piranha plant guy. Oh, there's one of those uh, mini goop piranha plant guys. Oh, I just barely got him with the water. And I think I do shoot that piranha plant. Just to put the focus on it. And I keep getting hit by those stupid guys. There we go. Oh, and they explode with coins. Which helps because I got hurt. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Yeah. Gross. Be careful of that sludge. Sprint. Yeah, things... If you're not paying attention, things can get really hectic in this boss battle. And... Oh. Yeah, that's... Uh, God, that's gross. One of the new things that Mario can do in this game is spin around really fast, uh, as well as jump while spinning really fast. And I was trying to move and go up and shoot him at the same time, but I ended up spinning. So I just said, forget this, go into first person and just shoot him. And once you hit him three times, like you didn't see that coming, he will go and, uh, I guess, divert into a pile of goop. Oh boy, shine, yay! What are you trying to show off? I'll do a little backflip while I get it. Shine it! <laughs> oh man. You people are gonna hate me by the time this is over with how many times I'm gonna be saying that. <laughs> oh well. And what is this? Something appears to have appeared. Oh gee, I wonder what that is. That doesn't look familiar in the slightest. But that's it for this part of the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. Yeah, thanks for telling me something I already know. Mario? Mario? Well, I will say goodbye to you and hope to see you again in part three. I will leave you now with me harassing everybody with Flood. See you later.
Come on, Peach. What t-shirt contest? <laughs>